Good morning, everyone. Please stand, please stand. Uh, it's, it's been a great month. Uh, I've just been so encouraged by all of the missionaries who have come and spoke to us, and I don't know about you, but I've just had so much to think about it, and, and so much to think about to just look at my own life and missions in my own community, uh, in my own city, in my own family and friends. And I'm really, it's just, it's been great. God's really blessed us with great speakers. So glad today as well as we have a, another great speaker and a great opportunity to hear what he is saying, what he's doing to be motivated by. So it's been a really good, great, multiply 2019. And I just hope that we continue to do this each 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 year, just each each year in October, just to make sure that we're have a relationship with our missionaries, but also that we're looking at ourselves and seeing what we're doing. So I am just so thankful for what God has done in that. And I, I don't know if you remember, but like I think it was like last month we started talking about the 21 days of being in the word you know participate in that all right some of you some of you participate in that last week should have been uh the end of that those 21 days and so i would love for you to really talk to me uh, let me know what what god has done in those 21 days and and the plans that you have to continue to do that as well um, and if you want to join in on, on that, reading the scriptures, uh, 21 days straight, you know, trying to make sure that we get a, build a habit for reading scriptures, just, they just let me know, and I can just get that, get you that email. Uh, so we are going to be reading from Psalm 33 to start our service. I was thinking, um, you know, we gather in, we gather here every morning, on Sunday mornings, uh, we gather here to, to hear the word of God. Um, and I was just thinking to myself, man, we, we love the word of God. We, we we want to be a church. We consider ourselves people of the book, as some say. Um, but man, if it's not changing our life, we, we really need to look at that. And so when we come in here, when we come to the scriptures, man, we're expecting God to speak to us, to, to say something to us. And then we, we want to just not love the Bible from our lips. We want to live it. We want to actually live it. And that's why we, we love the Word of God, and that's why we sing the Word of God. And so every Sunday that we gather in here, let's let's see what God has to say to us. And not, let's not just be like those who come to the scriptures, read, and turn away from it. Let us really look at it and say, God, what are you saying to me? Why am I even here this morning? And I want to read from Psalm, uh, Psalm 33, verse 13, going all the way down to verse 22. If you're using the Pew Bible, that's page 463. Page 463. This is Psalm 33, and I'm going to read from verse 13 going to 22. Hear the word of the Lord. The Lord looks down from heaven. He sees all the children of man. From where he sits enthroned, he looks out on all the inhabitants of the earth. He who fashions the hearts of them all and observes all their deeds. The king is not saved by his great army. A warrior is not delivered by his great strength. The war horse is a false hope for salvation, and by its great might, it cannot rescue. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his steadfast love, that he may deliver their soul from death and keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield, for our heart is glad in him. Because we trust in his holy name. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. Let's pray. <clears throat> Father, I thank you that this month, especially, we've been able to have so many missionaries come here and speak to us. Each of, each of them speaking about how you, God, are sending others to our nation to hear your word, uh, how people are responding. Uh, to your message of hope, uh, how eyes all over the world are being open to your glory. Um, I thank you, God, that you're still using us here. I thank you that you're still opening eyes and that the blood of the Lamb is still saving people. Uh, I just thank you, Lord, that salvation is even possible because you are a merciful God. Uh, Lord, I pray that you would give us a sense of urgency to see others come to know you. I, I, I pray that you would give us faith to believe the word of God, 
so much that not only do we quote it or say it, but we believe it so much that we are encouraged to go out to those who do not know you and to proclaim your name. Lord, I pray that we would believe the word of God and the church, um, everything that we believe. Lord, I pray that it would be so powerful and so true that we would love each other and love others and love our neighbors. I pray that it would be, it's so true that we, that we would believe everything that's in this word and everything that, you, that Jesus has done, we would believe it so much that it would affect us. Father, I pray that you would continue to use us here. So much has happened this month. So many great, I call them miracles. Eyes being opened to your glory. Truth being learned. Um, um, people restoring their relationship back with you. Those who have fallen off. It's, it's, God, you are constantly working. I thank you for this month. It's been such a blessing. But I pray this continues on and on. All the way into 2020, Lord. Um, you continue to walk with us. And I pray for this service. I thank you that Dan is here to speak to us, Lord. But I thank you that you're here. Your word is here. I pray you would be uh, blessed by the things that we say, by your word being read, and the songs that we sing, that they are pleasing in your sight. Um, and that we come in and we leave here different than we came in here. I ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's lift our voices together this morning. Thank you. 